Hello everyone, Zeno Zimmy here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Republic. Last time, we got an old man. <laughs> or as he would like to be called at least, an old man. Jolie Bindo! Okay, good, he's keeping up. And we dealt with Zerka here. They weren't proud. They were mad. Mad with power! And we're going to be accidentally activating these bombs. There, you see? Beautifully subtle, isn't it? At least compared to the other Zerka equipment dumped down here. It's only been here a short while, or the Wookiees would have disabled it. They wouldn't have had an easy time of it, though. Just you aren't going to ask about it? A repulsor field in the woods and you have no interest? Just shut it down. Alright then. Uh, how'd it go? Ah, there we go. Now, keep moving. These are the most dangerous depths of Kashyyyk. A few surprises wait for us, I'll wager. She isn't kidding. One of which is quite a big deal. Mandalorians. Save the Wookiee! Save the Wookiee! Yes, pretty good stuff. Mighty generous of you. A little too generous if you ask me. He'll be helpful. Mandalorian. Poachers, probably. They used stealth units to stalk their prey. Their kind were among the first to flee when the war turned against my people. Bloody cowards. Not joking. Those Mandalorians are little literal cowards and will not attack unless you are unarmed. Oh my 
my god, really? And sadly, Joey's gonna make us fight these guys, so we're gonna have to fight them. Finally, talk to this guy, Frere. Remember? He's almost feral after all this time. Calm yourself, Frere. We are friends. Don't you remember me? Whisper, Tanstry. I came to Kashyyyk with Zobar. No. He falls because of a life debt. When I first saw him, I helped his pursuers lose him for a moment. Do you remember me now, Freya?
We'll try and find it. And that's our new objective. To get the blade. Which probably in name only is a reference to Chewbacca. Big enough, apparently. Because, yes, we're taking a kin off board. And that's partly the reason why we haven't gone after the Mandalorians yet. Because the Kinarf can come at random. Hello, Lily. My cat appeared. Usually one is hiding there, so one of these three must have left from there. For whatever reason. However... We must go to Dangling Vine. Because this is where we will find the beast. Hello again. I believe this is our first fight with a Terratech. Even though it's called a ritual beast, it is a Terratech. Oh, great. There are two for this. Examine the corpse of this great beast to find a blade of some sort lodged in its side. The skin is growing around it. Well, certainly painful, it appears the blade caused only surface damage to the creature. Who knows how long it'll live with this injury? Remove the blade from the corpse, and it must be the one Freya spoke of. The lost portion of Baka sword as in both peace his people. However, there is more to this. Guhan's journal in the circle. Circle it. Osresh. Right, we also should level up. There we go. We want destroy droid. Because that will be useful. Well, we'll talk to Baka after. Baka. We'll talk to Freyr after. It's important that we also deal with the Mandalorians. But we also need to deal with... Oh, we'll end up running into Freer first then. Then we'll give the... So then we we'll might as well just give it back then. As you can tell, this place is actually a little bit confusing. Okay, so yeah, no. So there's only there's only a few more enemies. 
keep an eye on. Okay. Okay. What? Lightsaber, yellow lightsaber, orders repeating blaster, green lightsaber, and that's it because we want. <laughs> Find another set of bodies. Okay, so these are another set of bodies. And equip. And equip. And equip. God. Power. Light. Orders repeat. Blaster. Lightsaber. But I'm actually going to switch to the Mandalorian, I believe. No, it's not working. Okay. Actually, no, the Mandalorian assault rifle is actually better. For Mandalore! For Mandalore! I don't know what that man's wearing is not doing. Mandalorian Blaster. Strip by signal device. Mandalorian assault rifle. I believe it's this whoop. No, it's not, it's this one. Super shows notes shows signs of recent use, as it is missing a signal drop. It's a single drive. When the man alone is supposed to take them to collect the air. You have interrupted our hunt, interloper. The inhabitants of this world could do little against us, but you appear to be a threat. More than a threat enough for you! Another Mandalore, is it? Will you draw arms against those you should serve? I don't know why that Mandalorian has some health loss. Yeah, we'll take 
take on the Mandalorian Commander because we can die now. <laughs> Remains. He has some really good stuff. The Mandalorian battle armor isn't one of those. It's let's go look you up because we'll be walking quite a bit. Now, let's give these stuff to to our Wookiee friends. Such a shame. The Mandalorian hunters are dead, I killed them all. Sadly, it isn't it's a key item that does nothing, really. Unless it's part of the bounty hunting quest, which uh, I never did. Fair. I have found the blade of Bakasol. Here, take it. I'm sure it is the one. There's no point. Hiding it. Carefully. My people will no longer be slaves. Oh, we didn't level up. Oh, this is going to be tough then, because we're facing. One of the most annoying enemy types. One of the most annoying. If it weren't for... Oh. These things were not here before. Being real, but I don't want to deal with too much health. I'm about to take the long way around that.
before we go talk to the We'll save because this is a bit annoying. And I don't want there to be a crash. Life forms detected. Determining parameters. Initiating neural recognition. Yes, there's the thing. Obstinate machine. I've no doubt it holds what you seek, but good luck getting it operational. Primary neural recognition complete. Preliminary match found. Match found? What the... It always muttered something about rejected patterns for me. Begin socialized interface. Awaiting instruction. Greetings. This terminal has not been accessed for quite some time. Error. Subject is... I am sorry. I did not mean to confuse you. I will answer questions to the best of my programming limitations. I utilize a retro... Error. Corruption. Extrapolating. This utility yeah, was this built is going to... Take it has time, so I'm, well, I'm... that is surprising. I doubt any Wookiee would support such a claim. The forest is millennia old. Malfunction occurred 241 years after... Error. Information. No evidence. Answer will be... I have been pro... I can't... I can't... I can't... Corruption has resulted in gaps appearing. It could be... Error. Access. I have... I... Where is it? Corrupt it. F. Access. You're a... There are men with that. Information. Okay, so I'll finally get to the evaluation. Sadly, we can't. I don't remember which question. Where. He brings it up who has interacted with this. Freer has interacted three times. Jolie? 158. <laughs> Uh, Evaluation commencing. I Result don't like will be compared against the pattern out. in memory. Just act like you sh You travel with a Wookiee and have encountered complications. Hypothetical. You and this Zalbar are captured and separated. If you both remain silent, one year in prison for each of you. However, call Zalbar a traitor and he will serve five years while you serve none. He is offered the same deal. But if you both accuse the other, you both serve two years. What do you do? What do you trust him to do? How do you know about him? He's I here. hear what happens on Kashik and a good deal beyond. Answer the question I have posed. I trust Sabar. I would say nothing. Are waiting. you sure? If you turn, you risk two years or none at all. If you reply on loyalty, you risk one year or five. Your loyalty is dangerous. Your companion could take the opportunity to benefit by turning on you. Zalbar's family is mired in treachery. What loyalty do they know? Your answer is incorrect. You cannot refuse. Evaluation must continue. You must match the pattern in memory. Your memory. I must demand honest acceptance of the proper behavior. That is a condition of my programming. No, I reject you. I'll just take you apart to get the star map. Intention of hostility matches the pattern in memory, but the subject has failed to demonstrate required behavior. Access denied. This system will purge the subject as false. Defense mode initiated. 
Defense droids. Destroy droid. Make a joke. There we go. Neural scan complete. Analyzing. Well, it would appear initial assumptions about you were incorrect. Secondary scans during battle have revealed much. Under duress, your emotions were easier to read. Programming now instructs that I give you what you seek. That information is not available. Soon you will recognize the proper course to follow. The star map is yours. This unit has now completed its primary duty and has finished with the subject. Executing final action. Activation of star map commencing. Parameters reset. Stasis initiated. And communication. We do get to at least see what those filters may have looked like. Well, well, a star map. An ancient artifact of dark side power. Can't say I'm surprised. I always knew there was something funny down here. I wonder if the star map has had an effect on the evolution of the creatures here in the Shadowlands. It might explain why it's so dangerous down here. An interesting theory, but I suppose we don't have time to test it now, do we? Now that we've got what you came for, we should be heading back up to the treetops. Yep, we should. First... And yeah, no. Attributes. Get one more attack, and then we'll start alternating. Max out dueling now. Let's go. Huh. <sighs> I believe completing the quest gets you dark side points. So, yeah, no. It's really, really hard to not fall to the dark side in this. to talk about until we get out of these lands we are going to be bored racing against these monkeys these annoying monkeys we race across the land to find the truth To find the what's really in store To find out what it is more To know the truth of our actions to find out what's going on We're about to be murdered Now this is what I 
live for. Actually loot his body unless we get lucky, god damn it. Let's raise up the Shadowlands. Okay, so that's the button to skip these. There's a lot of cutscenes with the skip. Chorol! Chorol! Lead on. We should hurry. And... We... Come into a huge room. You have to fight? Talk it free. Convince them. Avoid this needle saw. Sadly, we can't get Vincent, <laughs> but we have five allies. Two of which are practically invisible. As long as we kill Chunder, we can fight one, because Chunder is really the toughest one. Zobar. 
I wish there was an option to say as over here why these just Bacchus or it should return. And I actually skipped that. God damn it. And we'll switch back. Zobar in. <coughs> we'll first check the remains. And then, you know what, quickly level up. Eight. Melee power attack. Force push. Demolition. Repair. Tree injury. Feats. Power. Ultimate power. Zelda. And because it's it's only Faye that he gets us. No one else. And so we don't accidentally sell it. What? Because, yeah, we can sell it. Why would we? Now, because now we can check the worker bins and we get some pretty nice stuff. House of Wur. 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 First worker bin. Rather hairless, aren't we? Trial down. Holder of the laws. Warozano.
I did not mean to curse her. I did not mean to press that. No. Is there... No, I don't want to save. Ah. There's the great walkway. I'll have to come back to that. Alright. I'll be back in a second. God damn it. This is what I get for being click back. And that's all about the timeline. And save Jurak. All you have to do is or just just be like instead of going, Oh, are you okay with that? Be like be like, no, I will not accept this. <sighs> but we are getting somewhat close to the end of the episode. I will not take take almost banishing a Wookiee but they don't deserve it. <laughs> I've thought of Clara since since belt equipped. Yeah, we never dropped anything. But in a con a con game. This part of the bounty hunt quest. But we won't be doing that for a while. I don't know what I lost. And now we're dealing with Zerka. We can leave this to the Wookiees. The Wookiees! to get this plasteel. Adhesive grenade. 
and we have returned. We are the only ones that can return here. But why should we? Well, there's no reason to return. Or then to please Zobar. Which, I mean, we could. But we're not there to do that. We're here to sort out my lightsaber. So. Set a green. Reward. Bondar. Reward. Diamond. The lightsaber of blue. We'll get more armor. And we might as well try. Statement. Let's try restoring some of your memory. Let's get started. And now rewire the last three relays. Yes, good. Well done, Master. I believe your operation was a success. Accessing new memory. Access complete. I have recovered information on my owner previous to the commercial officer, Master. Intriguing. What's so intriguing? Statement. It appears that my previous owner was a human senator on the planet Coruscant. A man of importance who obviously appreciated quality craftsmanship. Does the Senator know about your assassination function? Answer. It does not seem so, Master. No. He required a protocol droid only and wanted one as cheaply as possible. I do not know who sold me to him. I do remember that I was very pleased to be the property of a Senator. One of his assistants discovered my assassination functions later through questioning. The assistant was quite alarmed and told the Senator I should be scrapped quickly to avoid a scandal. Naturally, the Senator had me eliminate the fool. So, we're not talking about a nice senator, I see. Observation. Senators are not nice, Master. They are either on top of the game or yesterday's news. My Master told me that frequently, you see. I was most proud to have partaken in the political system of the galaxy. During the time my owner possessed me, he gained significant rank. Given time, I believe he could have become Chancellor. I even eliminated a few key opponents that he did not ask for. Freebies, if you will. You can do that. <laughs> Answer. Certainly. Why not? I am an intelligent droid, you know. I see an opportunity, and I take it. And my master was most pleased with my work. Observation. I think he would have done far better had he not allowed his use of me to become personal. He set me on his wife. Answer. I am unsure. The human was most agitated and angry. I believe his wife had done something that had displeased him greatly. I was to go to their summer estate and terminate his wife, along with whatever male companion I discovered there. So his wife was she, you know. Statement. I have no idea, Master. Cheating seems to be a relevant term only when one is caught in the act. Otherwise, it is viewed as intelligence. No? I journeyed to the southern continent. But it appeared my master was not far behind me. Apparently, he regretted his activation of the protocol. When I found the wife and her companion, I proceeded to launch my attack. But my master interposed his own body and was destroyed. It was rather a strange meatbag thing to do, do you not agree? Naturally, I shut myself down, my master being terminated. So that's 2 oh, two master's kill. Observation. Only so far, master. There are still more memories not recovered, remember? Well, I'm too then. Statement. I believe the Senator's wife was unsure what I was or what to do with me. It was she who sold me to the corporate officer, an acquaintance. Have you covered any of her memories? Answer. 
As previously, I have found a few more programs which will enhance my performance. A most gratifying discovery, in fact. There is still nothing from previous memories uncovered. You will have to operate again if you desire to find them. With luck, I will discover the stimulus to unlock my core, and all this will be unnecessary. I do thank you for the attempt, however, Master. Because of your repairs, now HK47 has, now has a permanent bonus of plus two to his defense rating, in addition to the plus two. Thanks. Statement. Let's try more memory. Request. Let's get started. I don't think we'll be able to. Now close the last supplic. Very As... well. We'll do this later. Oh, Bindo. Because we don't. Got something on your mind, do you? Yeah. I'm just gonna say, we don't need to talk to him for his quest, but still, best to. Oh, I know plenty about Kashik. You think someone doesn't live here for 20 years and pick up a thing or two? Chances are, by the time I finish telling you about it all, you would have found out for yourself. So there's no reason for me to start blathering on. It should be enough for me to tell you that there's kilometer after kilometer of trees on this planet. The deeper you go, the more dangerous it gets. If you're smart, you stay on top with the Wookiees. You go deep, however, and you may find some things, and that's about Oh, I get it. Let's play with the old man's head, is it? He's half senile. He'll forget I said anything. Wait, well, uh, what was this about anyway? <laughs> Got something. Well, I suppose I could whip up something, uh, you know, a few herbs and such. Do know that the best alternative is not to get hurt, right? Well, not to say that you go leaping into the path of blaster fire or anything, but I know how you young people get. Here, take it. Thanks. Thanks, Julie. And... Now... How may I, I be of assistance to you, Padawan? Oh yeah, we can talk to him about the Gizek, but it's best not to. Give me a moment. What is it you would like to speak to me about? I've been thinking much about our journey, and I am grateful and honored that you have accepted me with you. I am not used to such unbiased acceptance from one who is nearly a stranger to me. We Cathar do not make friends easily, or for long. Even on Dantooine I remained alone. Not ostracized exactly, but separate. Well, even if we do not speak that often, or are apart. I still feel a part of a team, this group you have assembled that accompanies you and Bastila on your quest. It is, it is warming. I feel almost welcome, needed. You seem to be very decisive when it is required of you. It is reassuring to know that I can count on someone like you. Yes, and that is my point. I find it difficult to explain. It is so different from what I'm used to. Just thank you for accepting me. Okay, and how may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? So we'll do a talk. Tell me more about your well, past. They, all of them were so very invigorating they were so very alive so full of hope and energy and zeal in retrospect I can see it was a little bit tragic tragic well yes these Jedi were going to fight the Mandalorians just after they had invaded 
Many of those Jedi perished in the fighting, but to us, they seemed invincible. Especially their leader, who they talked about all the time. Paragons of light and justice, sweeping away all iniquity before them. It was like looking at gods. Damn straight, I do look too bad. I can only assume that that was some misguided attempt at humor. I was yes. using poetic license. But those Jedi, they were enthralling. Everyone wanted just to touch them. Some people thought it would bring them luck. Not that the peace they brought lasted very long. Did they leave? Of course they left. They had a war to go fight, so that we would not all be killed by those psychotic Mandalorians. The Jedi left. The people grew complacent. Those who had been wronged saw their chance at revenge. And so the cycle continues. The oppressed become the new generation of oppressors. The human oppressed, that is. The non-humans were never treated well in any case. We felt the brunt of both administrations. Of course it was. They took their frustrations and hate out on us because the people they wanted had already fled or were too well protected. But no one looks out for the injustices we suffered. Oh no, but... But I am sorry. I should not have outbursts like that. Don't you see? The very fact I mentioned it means it has its influence. Anger can lead to the dark side, and I must be ever careful that I do not fall back into those ways. I... I thank you for your support. My outburst was uncalled for, but you did not lash back at me. You are a much better Jedi than I, it would seem. But let us not speak more of this now. We should continue on our journey. Perhaps later we will talk again. And now... I'm having to save because there's a glitch. We cannot do talk about talk to Johanny on her personal so her next personal until her personal four. And if we level up before then How can I help? Guess what? It disappears. We don't people don't know why. If you have the PC version, there's a mod to keep that glitch from happening. Why? I could not accomplish this on my own. I need the aid of others, especially one who is strong in the Force. The bond between us made you a natural choice. Besides, the events on Taurus proved that the Force wanted to bring us together for this mission. And there is little left to chance when the Force is involved. Is that not enough for you? I admit. There were times that I wondered if this is more than just a mission to stop Malak. There were times when I wondered if this was also a way for the Council to test my own abilities. I wondered if the Council wanted to see how I would help and guide you on our quest. I wondered if they were testing me to see if I was ready to become a Jedi Master myself. And then I realized how foolish such thoughts were. As the Council explained, sending a Master in our group would only have drawn unwanted attention from the Sith. The fate of the galaxy is at stake. The Council would not risk it merely to test me. They calculated the risks, and in the end chose the only option available. I'm still not convinced. You must learn to trust in the wisdom of the Council. Your destiny will come when it's appointed time. You mustn't be so impatient. Must you be so frustrating? I admit, I had a moment of foolish pride, but I'm over it. Now I am focused on my true responsibilities. I'm simply trying to help you and complete this mission, and yet you battle me at every turn. What can I say? It's fun. Fun? Fun? Driving me insane is your idea of a good time? Careful, remember. Your self-control. I must admit, I simply don't know how to deal with someone like you. I don't know if I should be outraged that you keep joking about serious matters, or if I should be grateful that you can always lighten the mood. Come on, come. Let's move on. There's much to be done. Yes, See, what's on your mind? You do? Well, fair enough. <laughs> I know you wouldn't understand where I was coming from. Let me try and explain. You're probably one of the most skilled women I've ever met. 
You've saved my butt more than once, and I'm lucky to have you here to help me. No question. But that doesn't mean that I'm gonna stop watching you being wary. I'm just not built that way. Period. Maybe so, but I've been betrayed before by people of... Well, it just won't happen again, that's all. I don't know that you'll betray me, but there are no guarantees. Not for you, not for me. You don't have to take it personal. Well, that's too bad then, because I'm not gonna change. It's not what I want. I have a duty, and I intend to see it through. The galaxy is in danger, and I want to save it. That's what I want. Why is whether or not I trust you or anyone so damned important to you? Why, why do you even care? We don't have time for this, so can we please just drop it for now? Can we pick it up later if you really must? I'm, I want to get underway. And before we do anything, we're going to Dantooine because I want to see if we can be able to buy Cassus Fett's armor. Plus check if there's any more gear I can get to add repair. Uh, you know what? Let's try and level up Carf as well. Well, mate. Chopa chawi ti chok twiz yun kun watu yama kama wuna henak neck bugra shak kun ti chi wa un chawa don abuk shami no no. I'm Bastila, yes. I take it that you know my mother. Bona na kachu kicha badwang wanga kum kiba bu mule ra kaki. Is there something I can do for you, miss? As you can see, we're in quite a hurry. Kakin cha na kwat na bon kon wana kumbes chi pala mulek tongki pa na nonek. My mother's condition. Ti un par do punta vita. Ak ti kondo una chaba chisa wanki. Ti toki grantu kon chi chan kun green kanchan to pro. I've not seen my mother since I joined the order. Do you know what's happened? Did she. did she say anything about my father? Can chopa chawi ti chop twees yun kun. Watu yama kama wuna henak neck. Bugra shak kunti chi wa um chawa. Dong. I see. Where did you meet her? Do you remember? Shachika don mulaka. What are you maka wama wuna neck? A shanti don unumani. Thank you for informing me. I really must be going now. It seems my mother's been looking for me. <laughs> Strange. Should we get the opportunity? Could we look for her on Tatooine? It's important enough that my mother was attempting to seek me out. Perhaps it has something to do with my father. Part of me would rather not see her at all. But if she is really sick... Well, we shall see. And we get to at least find out... Achuta. Oh, let's see what's for sale, quick. PU security. PU security. Saves all. Nope. And then there's bizarre cars. Do you have anything? Yeah, no. You have the droid stuff, which is pretty still, still pretty good, but not what we need. do this implants more implants and accept skill feet 
more implants, and then back to me. Now let's head out. Nice speed. Head out to the courtyard. Let me see what you're selling. Yeah, no, we do not have enough. But we can sell some stuff. Uh, the jet gyro ropes might be useful, but the combat suits are not. Giant fiber. This is not useful evil. That's not useful. Uh, the Havix war suit might still be useful. Yeah, no, then it definitely isn't, because Mandalorian Battle Armor is better. We're not selling lightsabers, but we are going to sell... Oh, we don't need more than one double lightsaber. And we have one, so... We'll keep that one just in case. We can sell the short lightsabers. Uh, sell the red crystals. They're not really too too useful. Plus, we can get more. Blasters. Mandalorian blasters. Heavy blaster. Zabrak. Subsassin. Mandalorian ripper. Would you up? Let's see what you're selling. And Cassus, that's armor. Now we've got it. Uh, we still need to save money. Let's see if we can actually. Yeah, we'll get one more red just in case. Party selection was temporarily sending Candorus because it makes most sense. That he puts on Cassus Fett's armor. But now, let's return to Ebon Hawk. Cassus Fett's armor is one of, if not the ultimate armor of this game. That guy, though. He won't be there forever, so you want to try and get as soon as you can. The only gear better is the gear you get at endgame. And with this, you have nothing better. We might as well upgrade Baka's ceremonial blade. Might as well do that. Leave it alone. And we see a child. Kipuna, bona na kichu. Selim. Don't 
aqui. Kipuna. Kipuna. Muchish. Muchishakapa. Tong abu. Muchishaka. Sili. Kipuna. Kipuna. Tong ki. Tong ki ba non. Tong abu ksha. Muchishakapaka. Silimo. Kipuna. Kipuna. Tong. Kip. Kip. Kipuna. Tong. Kip. Muchishakapaka. Yeah, there's a lot of this, but we need this. Tong. Kip. Tong. Muchishakapaka. Sili Kipur Tong Ki Tong Tong Ab Kipuna Sili Mut Tong Tong Ki Ba Non that we'll get some experience we normally can't get so we want to use it uh, we'll take the droids and use that to level them up before we end this episode so we can actually get yeah, I believe it only the glitch only happens if I level up the main character, so I need to remember not to level her up. Which is going to be a bit hard. There's no point asking for anything because being real we will have enough money to get what we want by the end of this. Kipuna. Takom justa. Tong abuk shami. Tong ki ba. Selima wanga kun bikin. Tong haid wam. And now. We just have to deal with the gizak. Sorry. Pammy. Trust me. End this episode off by landing in the dent.
now that we've landed. Next time on Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. We'll use save one. We will find the star map on Tatooine, finally. And do two quests at the same time. This is Inu Zuma, signing out.